Well, yeah, that's right. No enter works. Enter doesn't work. Escape doesn't work. And F1 apparently closes the game. Alien Breed is fucking broken! Alright, well, um... Yeah, you might as well just not fucking play that game because it's broken. Uh, I don't really want to do a follow-up video on Runestone Keeper. There's nothing much to talk about. You know? Um, nothing much to talk about on Steam, either. I don't even, you know, I just chose an RPG. A mid-boss I could keep playing. But I got frustrated with the way I was having to grind. It, it just bothered me. Okay, nostalgia. Eh. Um, well, there's Secrets of Grindia, but I already did a first look on that one. Um, yeah. Well, um, I guess I could go to my library and see what there is to see, except the other side of the mountain. Um, there's Runestone Keep. Uh, Freedom Force. Well, Caesar 4 was always one of my favorite games, just to play for fun. Um, you know, there's War for the Overworld. Looks like I have a little graphical glitch. Oh, no, I don't have a graphical glitch. That's just the lines that they they do, they divide, they conquer, they do all that good stuff. Okay. Um, Oddworld was an odd bunch for me. So Sir the Insult Simulator, Zombie Night Terrors, but... Dragon Wars, Zork. I don't want to do Zork again. Gotta be in the mood for Zork, and I'm not in the mood for Zork at all. Um, incoming? Uh, okay. Headlines, description. I'm not in the mood for a flight simulator game. Just not. Uh, it's not even a simulator. Just not in the mood for a flight game. I used to love those, but I'm not really in the mood for them anymore. Um. Little Divil. Well, that looks cute enough. Um, hmm. Oh, it's an adventure game. Uh, not in the mood for an adventure game. 500 games and nothing to play. Yeah, it's just... <sighs> certain things you gotta just be up for. And I haven't been up for adventuring lately. Um, well, Battle Realms is always fun. But I know the game. It's not a first look. Uh, Limbo, I've seen played enough. Uh, it was probably on sale for two bucks. Probably why I picked it up. Uh, well, the King's Quest games, those are always nice. Um, but, you know, they've been done to death. Rebel Galaxy, D to the game. I heard this was a really shitty game, so I had to buy it. I just had to. Um, even though some would say it's really good. Siberia, Civilization, American Nightmare. And there's Gremlins. Yay, door. Now, there's a game I wanted to try. And never got a chance to. Um, hmm. <laughs> Dirt based tacticals and RPG elements. Hmm. Okay, well, let's do EA Door. Um, let's do them both. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can install this. Yeah. How long is it going to take? Well, it's one gig. It's going to be a bit. Um, yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so while that's doing its thing, I could search. EA door and oh there's three of them lovely master of the broken world and uh EA door genesis and uh, the whole EA door series yay well um we've got our uh, time cut out for us i am downloading at 13 megs a second it could be faster but 13 megs a second slow jesus christ uh, are you are you really that much of a snob these days hmm yeah, I think so. I think so. Well, we're already at half a gig. Hell, I remember when this wouldn't even have been half a meg back in the dial-up days. You do 600k and it's going to take you like 40 seconds to download. If you're lucky. Um, 
But it's not taking that long. But I kind of want to start from the beginning, which is probably this first one over here, and then it's two, and then it's three. I would imagine. Which kind of means I want to uninstall Alien Breed. Uh, other uh, manual bindings play. How do I get rid of it? Manage installation. Uh, uninstall. Yeah. Also remove my thing. I'm just going to uninstall that. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, manage my installation, uninstall. Alien Breed is, oh, there we go, Imperium is done. I just can't play it. You just can't fucking play it. I, it doesn't work. It makes me sad. Okay, let's go back to my library. And hit up Yador again, because I kind of want to install all three of these. Um, yeah. English, continue, yeah. So while I'm waiting for another gig to install... Oh, actually, that's it's pretty tiny, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's not going to take long. Yeah. Yeah! yeah. That's actually not going to take long at all. Uh, great. So, um... Yeah, door. Might as well grab this one while I'm at it. Yep. I think this is the first one, so let's install it. Let's just do our thing. Master of the Broken World. All right. Say it's turn-based, it might be fun. Got a good first look, and it's, ah, oh, it's 1.4 gigs. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. At 12 megs a second. All right. So, uh, do I want to keep this little app, this little prologue in, or do I want to cut it out? I think I'm going to keep it in, actually. I don't do a whole lot of uh, posting on YouTube. I do my weeklies, and, you know, I should give you guys a little bit of your run for your money. Oh, it's a uh, 2.7 gig download, actually. It's not um, 1.3, 1.4 like I thought. So it was a big game. All right, sweet. Uh, that This must be the first one. Yeah, because the other one was half the size. So we say, no, a second, a sequel could be bigger. I think I think this is more like a DLC. Like a, they used to call them expansion packs. So yeah, this is an expansion pack to this one. It's got to be. So I'm going to play this one first. Oh, it's almost three gigs. So, yeah, I got 700 megs to wait on. Hmm. How's everybody's day? Hope it's good. It's a Sunday for me. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I need to do a follow-up on, you know, like a retrospective on Room Stonekeeper. Um, I may stream it again. It's actually quite streamable because the whole game doesn't take that long. It's more streamable than games like FTL, which takes about two hours to play. And it's certainly more streamable than The Pit, because The Pit could take you 20 hours, and it's still a roguelike, and if you die, you know, no checkpoints. I'm, I'm okay with that, but a roguelike that takes that long is a little bit punishing. I mean, I did it on Insane with the Marine, and, and fuck the three or four new classes they came out with. Just fuck them. Tried to play the Tar, and she's just fucking slow as shit. Oh, she starts with a spear. I don't give a fuck. Weapons break anyway in that game. I mean, in, in, in finding spears, spears are a rare item to find. You gotta have reach one, but what the fuck ever. Like, how is she gonna get past those incinerator things? Like, it takes two turns. One for them to see you, another one for them to shoot you. And there's no fucking way she's gonna get there in time. Just none. You know. I'm gonna play Master of the Broken World. Yeah. Okay. So, almost done. Almost done. It's gotta configure. Hope I can choose resolution because I don't want to change stuff. Have to go to windowed mode. Some games don't offer windowed mode, which is annoying. I don't have dual monitors. Well, then you could buy a second monitor. Well, yes, but I'm not going to right now. Let's play Yador. I got to do a lot of options. Settings. All right. Player profiles, active players. Oh, my goodness. There's so many settings here. Yeah. Oh, okay, now there are settings. I actually prefer the 14 right there, the 14 by 49 and I certainly want to do windowed, so, uh, windowed. Windowed full screen? No, 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 just windowed. There you go, that's the resolution I prefer when I play games, because I can still multitask if I need to. Um, everything looks okay. Screen resolution, windowed mode. Do I want to change the map resolution to the same resolution, or... I don't have a 4K monitor, so whatever. Oh, look! High, ultra high, yeah, whatever. Um, water reflection quality, 
And these are just presets, obviously. All right, so let's launch the game. Hopefully it centers okay. Let's find out. And I need to change volume, most likely. Oh, okay, there's the splash screen. It's working so far. Oh, shit, I said windowed mode, didn't I? I did say windowed mode. Oh, but it's it's that kind of window. Oh, seriously? Okay, there's my mouse cursor. Um... Okay, there we go. Now, I specifically said 1400 by... 1440 by 900. And... No, Christ. Now I gotta manually adjust the fucking thing. I'm sorry, it should center it for you. It, this, this right here is 1440 by 900. Um... Okay, uh... Is there a... Master volume? There. What's this? Oh, default settings. Okay. Campaign, settings, credit, quick game. Allied forces. Allied forces? Looks like we have... I don't know what this means. Like, this versus this? Dwarves versus reptiles? Orcs versus elves? Like, is that... Oh, this must be the expansion, Allied Forces. Yeah, okay. New campaign, new shard. Whatever that means. Campaign. New campaign. Okay. Looks very 90s RTS, which I can get behind. Can certainly get behind 90s RTS. You were born to a poor peasant family in the village of this. As a child, you were all of that, and you liked all of those interests. And <clears throat> as you get older, you weren't destined for peasant's life. Well, you know, wise wizard, I guess. I mean, that's the guy on the front cover anyway. An elder calling himself this guy was roaming the world, and I sort of tagged along and grabbed his coattails for success. Okay. Looking at you slyly. Wait, why? 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 Like, is he Mananan? Anyway. Questions come later. Let's go. Select your hero by left-clicking his portrait. Okay, so this. We're clicking the next hero button. If you want to hide this hint, now I'm good. I'll keep him for now. Oh, how delightful. It's like a hex board, only not. Okay. Now, in order to move your hero on the neighboring province where a town is located, so, like, they want me to move here. Go to province. Shores of hope. Excellent. As you can see, the task has appeared in the hero's task scroll. Oh, that thing. You can cancel it if necessary by pointing your mouse at his portrait and clicking on the cancel order button. Uh, cancel order. Oh. Well, the mouse cursor is flickering, which doesn't make me happy, but that just could be a thing with compatibility. I don't know. Um, yeah. Alternately, you can left-click on the current... I keep thinking right-clicking. Anyway. Uh, enter exchange mode. Hire troops. Hmm. So what's this? Open tutorial history? Open map? Nothing. Oh boy, this is going to be one of those Civ games that's going to be... I have to play it for 25 hours before I can get a proper first impression. And look, I'm on this astral plane that's hovering in space with roots that go off into the ethereal abyss, which don't ever get, like, water, but somehow they still will function because they get space nutrients or whatever. This always baffles me, worlds like this, because... How does the atmosphere... St how do you stop decompress... I did just... I should stop asking questions. Ugh. Like, you get an income. Oh, and turn. And turn. <laughs> I remember doing that. All right. All right, here we are. Since you've chosen the art of wizard, you need to learn a several spells first. Magic is a powerful weapon when used wisely. All right. Someday you will master all this stuff. Well, Fantastic. To enter the library, point your mouse at the hero's portrait and click on Study Spells. Enter Exchange, Explore Province, Study Spells. Evolution. <sighs> you would never know what that's from. 
You are in the library now. And on the bottom left, you see spells. So here are already learned. So all of this crap. Resistance is futile. Counterattack and attack and that's not a spell. Oh, stamina and health and morale. Heroes spells. Look, these aren't spells. These are just what you do with your staff. Uh, just don't think too much into that comment. I certainly didn't. On the right are the spells available for learning. Oh, these three. Uh, oh, right click on a spell to read the description. Click this scroll to continue. I don't have to right click. All I have to do is hover. Oh, it's going to be like that, is it? No, that doesn't do anything. Creates a skeleton from the remains of a fallen unit. Skeleton's attributes depend on the caster summoning necromancy skill. Hmm. Does not affect unit types. Undead and mechanical. Prevented by ability. Spell immunity. Replenishes the hit points of the target by 7 points. Effective increases. Caster's spell power. Ah, okay, so... Your spells evolve with you. They don't just get replaced. Yay. If you just hover over it, you get the expanded box. Inflicts 8 points of magic damage on the target. Damage increases with spell power. Necromancy is fun, but you have to kill things first before you, re you res them, and that could be difficult. Um, to learn a spell, click on it. Move it to one of the free slots. Circle 4, 3, 2, 1. Obviously, you get the fewest number of the strongest spells. Is this going to be like Wizardry 8, where if you select the earlier spells, you fuck yourself because you only have so many points to allocate and you don't know this? And the later ones, it's so much better to put points in those than the early ones. Probably not. Oh, this. Not this. Healing and... Magic arrow. How come these have X's over them? Oh, it's whichever one you've selected? Maybe? Yeah? Okay. Great, you've learned your spells. It doesn't require any resources, so you can experiment freely. To get rid of a spell you don't need, click on Delete Spell button in the upper corner. <clears throat> Fill up all empty slots in your hero spell book. Keep in mind that a hero can only use each of the spells he has memorized once per battle. Oh, really? So, it's 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 it's, it's AD and D rules now. Ugh. To learn several instances of the most... Oh, fuck. You know, I had high hopes for this until they're going to do spell count. After you've memorized your magic, leave the library. Oh, I see. Then you, like... You drag this shit in. Yeah, I... I oh, man. This is poop. I don't, I don't like a system like this. I'm sorry. I, I outgrew this system. Of daily, I didn't outgrow like D and D fourth edition with, but they at least give you at wills encounters and dailies. Um, dailies after an eight hour rest, so you actually can use them more. But here, I mean, you know, once per once per battle. Uh, fuck you. How do I get out of this? <sighs> I had high hopes for this game. Take these 50 gems. If this was a mobile game, you'd have to pay real money for gems. Oh yes, the ancient ruins nearby are infested with goblins. Finally, real adventure. Hmm. Perhaps I could try negotiating. I don't have to kill them, do I? I know these parasites well enough. They won't even think about talking to you. Alright. Um, Skill Coast. Grab Shore. What's this? Visit locations. Oh, okay, I get it. Each area, you've got these flashing thingies. As your hero has new tasks, enter the tasks room to make it. Uh, click enter. Hooray. I approach all of this. Number of enemies, three. Attack auto combat. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, we win. I was myself, and I won. Um... Goblin, goblin, goblin. They're all dead. How about that? Um, grab loot, spoils. 
Your party found all of this good stuff. So the goblins are done with good news. Good news, everyone. I'm to take care of your troops. No, magic is good and all, but you need some backup. Take these 200 bucks. I give you these gems, this money. Um, okay, so you're going to say higher troops now, are you? Oh, let me guess. Slingers and... Oh, slingers. I was always a fan of slingers. At least in Master of Magic. They were pretty sick. Um, yeah, alright. Does it say slingers are by far the cheapest ranged unit? Often they're recruited for amongst your peasants and hastily taught how to handle the sling. All they need is some natural agility. A steady eye. Although slingers cannot claim outstanding shooting strength, they're especially valuable in a protracted battle because they never ran out of ammunition. A slinger can use any stone picked up from the ground as missile in a pinch. Well, I got three slots here. So I'll put you here, and I'll put you here. I can only have three, apparently. Alright, now. Right-click on a unit to view its information. Yes, I figured that one out. Low price is the advantage of this unit. Alright. Excellent! They've joined your party. Um... Gains experience and increases command abilities. I'll be able to learn. I'll be able to learn much larger, control much larger forces. Should I gain battle experience, they will come in handy during the battle ahead. After you hired your army, click exit. Kill a couple of orcs isn't the guard's job. Well, most of the guards are watching the northern border. Brigands from Crab Shore. This country's a real mess. We're into the ruins. Let's kill the orcs. End turn. Should I do this one manually? The enemy stands. No chance. Oh, that's that's obviously a rank. Let's attack and see what I can do manually. Even though I think this is a waste of time. Yeah, it looks like it's a waste of time. Alright. Where are my units? Oh, well, I could move this way. Look, I'm a fucking giant. I love it. Where are my units? I troop deployment. I don't see my units. Did I fuck up? I think I did. I think I was... I put the units in my thing, and then now they're not here. Oh, there they are. I did, the, the fucking menu got in the way. And I kept clicking next unit, and all it did was click on my asshole. That didn't sound right at all. Um, yeah, look at this. What the fuck? I did, yeah, I get it. Shut up. Um, can I even attack you? Out of range. No. Where are my spells? Where are my spells? I'll do magic arrow. Kick your ass. I'll kick your ass. And I can only do that once. Like, what the hell? You know? Like, what kind of wizard only has three fucking spells? An AD&D wizard, of course. Yeah, well, the AD&D wizards are bullshit. Okay, so I'm just gonna attack you. Splatter. And you die. Okay. Can you move twice and attack, or is it just more like a, a thing? Yeah, it's more like a thing. You're a slinger. Okay, I have a thing here. I'm going to cast that necromancy. There you go. I want to attack you. Backstab, plus two. That's pretty cool. You can backstab. There are tactics in this game. Yay. Alright, well. You won't get to me in time, will you? No, you won't. Okay. Next unit, spell. Did I grab two necromancy instances? I did. Oh, can't do it. Can do this, though. Splatter. Splatter. They don't do much damage. Hit points negative three, morale negative one, stamina negative one. Is that exactly what the... They tell you the outcome before you... That's kind of sad. Yeah. The skeleton walking is a bit janky, but I like it. I don't know why, I just like it. Alright.
Wait, what? Oh, it's my turn. Well, this... I don't... I don't know. I didn't get a chance to do anything that round. Oh, I got a counterattack. I know why, because I didn't move, so I had movement left, so it's an auto thing. Mm, parameter increase, magic plus one. Wisdom plus one increases the experience earned by a hero and allows him to learn additional spells. Concentration increases the duration of spells cast by the hero. Magic power, well, that's self-explanatory. How about wisdom? Because the more wisdom you get, the faster you level up. A glorious battle! Congratulations! Time to take care of your equipment now. Spells are good, but they tend to run out. Oh, you think? A magical wander staff is good. A toga would be great. Here's 200 more bucks because I'm a generous old asshole. Okay, so, um... To enter a shop, point your mouse to the hero's portrait and click visit store. Look at all the things you can buy. You're in a merchant shop. On the right is all the good stuff. Right click on an item to read a description. You only active when it's equipped. You can only equip permitted by your class to buy something. Left click. Simple wand. Well, I kind of like it. Plus three range. It's cool. All right. Oh, look, I can have a backpack and a thing. There you go. Excellent! Congratulations on your first purchase. Note that each item takes a specific slot. I, I figured that. Yeah, we're good. It's important to note that scout and wizard heroes can strike enemies at a distance, but they need ranged weapons. So if your hero is a scout, make sure you bought him a bow. Um, um, it doesn't really tell you the class restrictions, does it? Um, well, if you click on it like this, it'll tell you if you can equip it or not. Oh, I actually can have that. A short staff. That'd be kind of nice. What if two wands? Oh, nope. That's not going to happen. Um, now, can I buy the toga? Apparently, yes. And my money's still holding out. Can I outfit my units, too? Or just me? Garrison. No, apparently you can't outfit your units. They have their own shit, and you can't change that. How do I heal him up? Because he's still crippled. Do you rest? I, I would hope. Alright. So what are we doing? Hire troops. Study spells. I've, I've done that. Oh, I have one more slot. Yay. Um, oh, I have a level two. Yay. Magic arrow. I said magic arrow. Yay. Maybe the low level should be necromancy altogether and the higher one should be magic arrow. Who knows? Who knows anything? Alright. Um, if you click on this, there'd be visit places, right? If there are any places. Construct buildings. Can't do it. Visit locations. None. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Study spells. Visit stores. Hire troops. Enter exchange mode, explore province, visit locations, plunder province, that would be cool. Um, do I just drag my ass all over here? Like just, just do this? Here, go that way. Free settlement! Okay, you haven't actually... Okay, menu, settings, next hero. Oh, there's a turn to it, that's right. End turn, yeah. Well, I've already done all that stuff. Um, it's important to note, yeah. After you've bought everything you need, leave the merchant store by clicking exit button or press the escape key. Might as well save the campaign. Save it under toast, because that's what I do. Alright. 
And I can't do anything. I can't grab him and drag him. I can't... I can only go into this menu screen. Quest log. Ain't nothing special about that. And... Alright. Um... I did that. I was in the store. And if I hit escape... Oh my god. Oh, oh my fucking god. You have to hit escape from the store. When... Seriously, fucking game? I already figured out how to close the book without needing to hit escape. That's bullshit. How would you know that? How would you know you had to do it exactly like that? When you already know how to get to the... You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. Of course I nitpick. It's an ancient forsaken crypt ahead. Ah, oh, Jack is playing Cuphead. Ah. Alright, teacher. Saving villages for orcs and goblins does make sense. Why in the world should I go down to that crypt port? You might find valuable items in the crypt. Are you suggesting that I rob a tomb? Yeah, go ahead and slay them, ordering the murder of some innocent zombies and skeletons. The dead men leave their graves, terrorize the living. It's no longer a tomb, but a sinkhole of peacefulness. Uh, let's say you've convinced me. Alright, so do I visit locations again? I do. Alright. Let's do it. Attack! Auto combat. Somebody died. But apparently you can't heal them. So you just have to keep replacing them over and over again. I bet you there's a limited amount of money. Oh, your, your troops do level up. Alright. Armor plus one, stamina plus one. Ammo. But he has infinite ammo. Uh, no, a number of shots you can take per turn. Well, that would be useful. I just found a sorcerer's toga. Yay. Have you laid the dead rest? Good. Now you're ready for a real trial. I thought that was a trial. Go to my castle. Your castle. The castle across the sea. We'll need a ship to get there. Go to Crab Shore. I don't think they'll pose a serious problem for you. So basically, go there, beat the shit out of them, take their docks and their ship. Uh, is there any other way? Perhaps there is, but we're not going to use it. <laughs> Trials make one stronger. Besides, having beaten the bandits up north, you could claim that force as rightfully yours. I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking tyrant. That's what I do. Make sure you thoroughly prepare for the battle ahead. Hire more units. Remember to visit the merchant shop. Some of your items need repair. Seriously? You, you, you're you gonna pull that shit on you? Visit, visit store. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that shit. Treasury. Garrison. Level 0, level 1. Whatever. <clears throat> Apparently... I have no idea how to heal people. Uh, yeah, he was weak and then didn't heal after battle, and then... Pretty sure that's better. Durability, five. Durability's bullshit. I'm sorry, it just takes you totally out of the game. Because now I have to get my shit repaired. Um, make sure some of your items need repaired. How do you repair shit? Um, next hero, I only have one. <clears throat> Visit stores. Weapons and armor deteriorate. Each item has durability reserve. Once it's zero, it breaks. It's best not to let that happen. How do you repair it? Hit points, stamina. How do you repair shit? Do you have to take it off first? No, seriously. How do you fucking repair shit? To repair all of the items any hero has, including the ones in his backpack, click repair all items. You have to go to your fucking treasury to do that? That is not intuitive. You'll want to fix some items. Enter the repair mode by clicking activate repair item on this. What? Oh, 
Oh, that one. Lovely. You can get rid of an item you don't need by clicking the sell item button in the corner of its icon. This? Yep. Lovely. Can I equip my shit? No? Maybe? Nope, only when you go to hero information can you equip. Lovely. So, you can't heal, but, yeah, what the fuck ever. You know. Like, you just wait a, wait a turn to heal? Is that what you do? <clears throat> well, anyway. <clears throat> Negotiate? Now nah, I'm gonna attack. How long have I been at this? 36 minutes? Holy crap. That's a lot. Alright, these are obviously the dudes. Did I just take off animation? Because apparently I don't have any right now. Oh no. That was set up. We are giants among men. We stand taller than the trees. I do have range. You lose stamina every time I do this crap. Plus one range. So if I move up one... Would you get this fucking box out of here? They lose a lot of stamina doing that shit. Is... Troops level up. Is there even a point to leveling up the weak units? Probably not. Hit points, negative three. Morale. I get a counterattack, which did nothing. I lost ten hit points. Ow. I get a counterattack, and I kick his ass. Alright. He's gonna shoot me. He's, he's behind. He's behind terrain. Oh, and I've got this, this little guy over here doing his shit. He's doing his walk. You know what? I'm gonna animate. I'm gonna just do my thing. Where's my spells? Yeah. Raise skeleton. And now I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. Yeah. And he dies. My skeleton can come up here and bitch slap this guy. Oh, that that was there was nothing to it. Alright, cool. Um lovely. I'll just go over here and pretend like this guy can't shoot me as I charge his machine gun, yes. Um my skeleton. Who's, whose turn is it? Oh, it's nobody's. It's end of turn. I'll use these trees to my advantage. Yes, I will. And ouch. Ouch. That didn't feel very good. Now did it. I will raise a skeleton. Yes, another skeleton. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, see if I can... Can I go over here? No, the terrain does that. Okay, you can go back here. And then you can attack. Backstab. Yeah. I kicked everybody's ass. A new level. Now he's a wizard of level two. Oh, apparently I got magic power two on my own. Because I was just doing wisdom. I like wisdom. Ah, oh, this guy. Level. Yay. Hit points and stamina. Morale and stamina. I'm just guessing at this point. So you become a landowner. Congratulations, now this land is your property. It'll yield you a steady income, but even great, but even greater conquests and glorious victories are waiting. This guy is pushing you along this trail on purpose. Like, he has his own things. He's using you as his pawn to get there. I don't trust this fuckhead. Look at his little sneer at the end. I mean, he looks, he looks wizened and sagely, but then he's got this sneer right there at this little corner of his right lip. Like, oh, yeah, you're sure a... Uh, you're a, a, a tyrant now. You're taking over land and shit. Uh huh. Can I use the arrows and scroll the map? Oh, I can. Right. 
You can only travel across the sea from a province that has a shipyard. Later, you'll be able to use a building ship for yourself, but to have learned all the secrets of the construction first. Send your hero on his way. Select him and click on the province, the castle. Right-click across the sea. Yeah, but if I go into my... Uh, um, visit stores, hire troops, enter exchange, export province. I can't really do anything right now. All right. This is a long video for a first look. Um, but this is this kind of game, apparently. It is a turn-based strategy, tactical... Kind of like Mountain Blade, only... Let's hope that this is, YouTube doesn't have this anal streak about taking all the videos down on this like it did with Mountain Blade. I took all of my Mountain Blade videos down because they were just so fucking anal about it. Oh, this is copyright material. But let's hope the creators of this game aren't as fucking anal. Um... This is a game that I need to play for a while before I can give you an in-depth review. So, definitely there's going to be a follow-up on this when I learn the ins and outs of it and not get as frustrated. So, unlike other games where I have only a first look only, this one's probably going to have a follow-up or so. So, stand by for that. Uh, if turn-based stuff is your bag, like Mountain Blade, then this game follows suit into it. I... Uh, I didn't like Mountain Blade's ever, like, Crossroads expansion that took away this exploit that you could do with a map, and that bothered me because there was only, like, and, and I hated the fact that, there, now there's so much to talk about Mountain Blade that I need to do an, my own video on that. Okay, I'm going to go now and save the game, because this game apparently doesn't autosave. And there we go.